it's Linda and today I thought I'd bring you this project um, and I'm quite excited by this one, I really rather like it. So it's like a perpetual style advent calendar only I haven't done anything like for the rest of the year. This really is just a Christmas themed one. So I've got my December down the bottom here and we have these blocks and you can change the dates. Okay, and also what's really cool about these is you can pack them full of um, advent treats as well. So I've made the boxes so they're quite a decent capacity. You could put any type of gift in here, bits of Lego perhaps if you worried about giving sweets and things like that to your kids. Um, you could put truffles, all sorts in here. Maybe some makeup gifts for your older members of your family. Don't know, but um, I try to size it so that, and obviously there's there's something in both of these boxes. Okay, so feeling very generous in the Parker household. Oh, that didn't stick on very well. Have to have a go at that later. Um, but I just think that this is a really, really cool little advent um, project. Um, so if you're feeling like you want to get crafty on the lead up to Christmas, then this might be a nice place to start. I just think that these look really quite cool. This is going to look really nice on my mantelpiece this year. Okay, so I think actually I might get talked into making two more because my children have moved out. They each have homes of their own. And I'm sure that they wouldn't mind having these in their houses as well. So I think I might be making a few more of these before now and uh, the beginning of December. Anyway, I'm going to put it to one side and I'm going to show you how I have put this project together. And I will say that I have used tonic products for this. So um, everything you see really here, apart from the black cardstock, is from tonic. And I will be putting affiliate links uh, for everything that I've used at the bottom of this video and also over on my blog. Okay, so anyway, I'll pop it to one side now and I'm going to thank you for joining me and I'm going to show you how to put one of these lovely perpetual style advent calendars together. Okay, so to start off with, you're going to need two pieces of card and this is to make the cubes. And these pieces measure seven and a quarter inches by eight and a half. Okay, so we're going to start by scoring on the short side. And you're going to score at five eighths of an inch. Then you're scoring at two and five eighths. At four and five eighths. And at six and five eighths. And then returning. And on the long side, you're scoring at two, at four, at six, and at eight. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same for this card. So I'll just run those past you again. It's seven and a quarter by eight and a half, and you're scoring at five eighths on the short side at two and five eighths, at four and five eighths, and at six and five eighths. And then you're going to turn, and on the long side you're scoring at two, at four, at six, and at eight. So those are for the cubes. We may as well go on to score the other pieces that we are going to need. Okay, so now this is the, the piece of card that makes the base. Okay, so this is the base and this measures seven and a quarter by six and one eighth. Okay, I'll start on the short side. So the side that measures six and one eighth, you're going to score, oh, wrong way. You're going to score at one, and at five and one eighth. Okay, and then you're going to score on the long side at one inch, at three and one eighth, at four and one eighth, and at six and a quarter. 
so that's the base and then we have three further pieces so these actually make the structure that holds the whole calendar together okay so this piece measures eight and three quarters by four and a quarter okay and you're going to score at sorry on the long side at two and a quarter and at five and a half okay so that's that one and then you need two further pieces for the sides and these measure eight and three quarters by two and and three quarters okay so on the short side you're just going to score at two and a quarter inches and you're going to turn it and you're going to score at two and a quarter and at five and a half okay and we're going to do exactly the same with the other piece so you're going to score at two and a quarter and then on the long side you're scoring at two and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, so that is all of the scoring done. Okay, so we'll do some burnishing now and I'm going to start off by putting together the two cubes. I'm going to grab some scissors now. Okay, so we just do need to do some cutting away. So we're going to go from this side. So we've got this skinny margin here. Okay, so all we're going to do is cut away this section here. so you've lost the square and the three little bits around it okay made a bit of a mess there tidy that up a bit okay and likewise this side just going to get rid of this section here or these sections I should say Turning it this way, I'm just going to cut down here and here. Okay, just down to that second score line, and then by eye, I'm just going to cut this square here in half. Okay, so just going to do that, and the same with this one here. So just doing it by eye. Okay, so it's looking like that and we're just going to repeat that now on this side okay so just going to go down here and down here okay get rid of half and the same with this one Okay, so your template should be looking like that, and now I'm going to repeat that for the other cube. Okay, so I've got my two cube sections all cut down. I'm just going to do a little bit of extra trimming now. So with each of these, what you want to do is take a wedge off of each of these outer cut sides. It's the little one. and just round off these corners
there so I'll just set those to one side going to look at um, sorting out the base piece now okay just want to refer to my template okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by removing this square here in the corner and this one and then all you're going to do is cut down each of these score lines here going to go around and burnish that quickly this one together and it's very very simple okay so I may as well crack on and do this and then we'll put the tubes together so you can see this just comes over here like this okay so all I'm going to do is run some double-sided tape down this edge here over like that and then all you're going to do is tuck in these sides bring this one across and just stick that side down and you're going to do the same with the other one so you can bring those in bring the bottom up and then stick the sides down okay so with that like that I'm just going to put a piece of double-sided tape here and here So that's going to be the little bit where we're going to just put December on, okay, to define the month. So I think what we'll do is I'll quickly put together the cubes now, which is very easy. So what you want to do is put double sided tape just along this edge here. this one just flip it over and bring that across and that one okay and then you'll see you've got your cubes that's those formed so they're going to sit like that okay so um, I think what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of decoration on these bits so I'll just talk you through those so I've done lots of pre-cutting and pre-sticking okay so to start off with we've got this panel here okay so this panel measures well, the bottom panel here measures two by four inches. So that gold panel there, and then I've cut this pattern out 
and this pattern is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and I've just stuck them um, together. Let me just show you the lovely paper that I'm using from Tonic. So it's their Craft Perfect um, Black and Gold by Tonic Studios. So it's beautiful, it's foiled craft papers, they're six by six, you've got four um, colours and um, you've got six of each. So let me just show you. So I'm working with this lovely dotty design. So we've got this zigzag. We've got those. I love that. It looks like a sort of a Moroccan trellis, doesn't it? It's beautiful. And then we've got these pretty sort of intricate fl flowers and things going on, vines. Really pretty. Okay. Just pop that on the top and make sure it's straight. Just hold that in place and let that go off. Okay, so that's that little bit done. Now for the cubes, you're going to need 12 of these. So I've got 12 pieces of foil. So I've already done my sticking, so I hope this doesn't confuse you. So the gold foil layer that you can see beneath there, you've got 12 of those and they measure 1 and 7 eighths of an inch square. And then this dotty panel here, you need 12 of those and they measure 1 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, and then they're just all stuck together. So now all I'm going to do is go around and I'm going to stick one to every side of my cubes. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done that, and I'm just going to get these decorated now, okay, before we go on to form the outer structure. So I'll just talk you through everything that I have used for this. Okay, and um, I've realised. Oh no, I've got everything here. So I've got my numbers. And I've got I cut out my letters to form the word December. Okay, and I'm just going to put December along there. Now then, I have used all tonic products for this, and they're just the perfect size I've found. So I have used their temperance uppercase simple style letters, and all I've done there is um, die cut the D. Okay, now they come. I'll just quickly show you. They all come on a plate like this, okay. So all I've done is I've cut out my D, okay. And I do believe that there is just one of each of the capital letters on that plate. So I cut out a load of them and, and I've saved them for another rainy day. Um, but I, out of that, I've taken what I need, the letter D. And they don't take up an awful lot of cardstock anyway. As you can see, they're quite quite small. Now with the lower case, again, you've got it on all on like the one plate, if you like. But with this one, I found this was really quite good, actually. They have got several of the vowels, because very often you need more than one when you're writing or putting together a word and in this case I put together December um, and luckily there are three E's so we've got three E's in December so there was no wastage okay so with your vowels you've got two two O's you've got a couple of I's um, can't see the A at the moment um, yeah you've got two A's so with the vowels you get like a few or several, with the E you got three of those, so that was quite handy. So I kept all the other ones there and there. Again, save those for a rainy day. Okay, and I also have used their temperance numerals and you get a large version or a small version, so I'll show you those. Those are my spares. Let's see if I can pull this out. Again, it comes on a die like that. Now, what you need for this is you need to make sure that you have got two zeros, two ones, and two twos. 
okay because what you need is the 0 1 and 2 on each of these cubes okay so for cube 1 you want 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and then for cube 2 excuse the dodgy handwriting folks <laughs> for her cube 2 you need a 0 a 1 a 2 7 8 and 9 and the 9 doubles up as a 6 all right so that should set you up then um, and you'll be able to use your calendar okay so all I'm going to do now is sort out my letters and sort out my numbers okay so I'll quickly just put my numbers out for cube one so again I think I told you you want zero you want one You want two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then for Q two, you want zero. One, two, I've got two eights, I don't need those. So, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I'll leave those there because that might help you while I'm just putting together um, my December that's going to go along the front of this box here. Okay. Okay, so I've got all my numbers stuck on, got my December done, and they're now ready to go on the outer structure, which we now need to put together. Okay, so it's worth mentioning here. You need to obviously, um, lost my bone folder. Let me grab a spare. Obviously you need to burnish all of these score lines first. think about this what you need to do is actually burnish this one this way okay and this one that way on that side okay now what you will find is you've got this square here and then you've got these two rectangles okay so now i gave you a measurement of eight and three quarters when i tried doing it with um, a measurement that was eight and five eighths long i found when i folded this down to create the reinforced edge um, there was like a big gap at the bottom which i didn't like now in giving you a measurement of eight and three quarters this bit is just slightly too long on each of these rectangles and on this larger section here I didn't want to start fiddling around with sixteenths of an inch and things like that because it does does tend to confuse people so all I'm going to suggest that you do here is just take a slither off and it is just a slither all the way along That edge because when this goes together to reinforce reinforce the sides it will fit perfectly okay so you just literally need to take a slither off of this larger section so you've got the narrower one here you've got this one you've got the square sections down the bottom this is the one where you just need to take off a slither on each of the two skinny sides so just it's just a tiny little fraction that needs to come off 
and it will just help your box go together that bit easier. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. Now what you're going to do, we'll start with this one. You're going to get rid of this rectangle here. Okay, and then I suggest you cut a wedge here, like that. You're going to get rid of this section here, but don't cut a wedge. Just cut it straight across, like that. Okay, and then just remove this section. Like that. Okay, we're going to do the same with this one. So we'll cut a little wedge down here and here. And then we're just going to cut straight across here and remove this section. Okay. So taking this like that, taking this section here, turn that that way. Oh. I'm silly, I forgot to remove that bit, oh, I do apologise. Get rid of, um... oh no you don't, what am I talking about? Hang on a minute, this section, you need to get rid of this one, oh good lord. <laughs> oh dear, oh, you didn't see me do that, okay, all is not lost, it doesn't matter. Um, but just don't do that yourself, just remember to cut that bit and that bit away. Okay, so what you're going to do... Okay, so technology being what it is, my um, my filming just cut out on me. So what I was telling you was um, to stick these two pieces to this section here. Okay, so on the reverse it's looking like that. Um, I've done a quick repair job on, <laughs> on the bit that I cut by mistake and that will not be seen once everything is put together. Okay, so turning it over, what you now want to do is I've already done it here put some double sided tape on these sections okay. so just bring this over form a nice 90 degree angle here, oh that's split again, <laughs> I'm really not having much luck here at all am I, let me try again, I'll tell you, the blooper of all bloopers is one, pop that there like that, and now I've stuck this down, there we go, <laughs> so we've got a 90, 90 degree angle here, like that, and we're going to do the same here, just bring that in, okay, just got a little bit of overhang here so I'm just going to get rid of that. So now what we're going to do is just bring these sides down like that, okay, and this one down like that. Okay, now before we bring this one down, I'm going to just take a really, really thin wedge off of the side here, okay, on each of these sides. It'll just help it fold down better. Okay, so it's just, re just a very, very tiny, thin shred of a wedge. Okay, like that. Okay, so just going to run a bit of double sided tape just down this section. Down this section. And this one. So 
so I'm just going to go along now and stick these down. Okay, so that's those done. Bring in my December now, okay, and I'm going to get that stuck in. So all I'm going to do is just put some tape along the bottom here and down the sides. Actually, I'm not going to put tape down the sides, I'm going to put glue down the sides. Just makes it that little bit easier. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take my glue. And I'm just going to push that in towards the back and press it down. And then I'm just going to hold the sides together and let that set. So making sure that's down the bottom nicely. Just leave this to set. Okay, so now that's set, it's up to you. You can either leave your sides like this and you can decorate them, or you can do what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I'm just going to use a long pair of scissors, and all I'm going to do, if I can just do something about the light here, because it is pretty shocking, excuse the glare from that at the moment. That's a bit better for me anyway. So all I'm going to do is cut from there to there with my scissors on the diagonal. Okay, so I'm just going to trust myself and I'm just going to cut right up to that corner there. Okay, so like I said, it's up to you whether you decide to do that. And on this side, I'm just going to go straight down. So I'm just going to aim for that corner. Okay. And it's really not as scary as it looks, I can promise you. Okay, so you've now got that. And it's just a question of decorating it. So let me just show you how I'm going to decorate mine. So I've already done my die cutting, saving time. And I have invested in these festive miniature snowflakes. It's a trio set. Again, it's by Tonic. And they are beautiful. So let me just show you what I've done. So you've got this, these three fancy snowflakes, and then you've got a background um, die for each of them. Okay, so for like this big one, you've got that. Okay, so I've gone ahead. I've also cut two of the middle size and I've cut the background and I'm just going to pop those on the side like that okay I'll probably use some um, dimensionals so I'm just going to take the big snowflake and get that stuck down onto this little shadow I think they're beautiful really really pretty these ones I think that's enough. Okay, so let's just get that down. Put into place. So it forms a lovely shadow all the way around. So you get that effect, which I think is pretty stunning. So move that down slightly. That's 
the thing about using a wet glue, you've got lots of wiggle room if it doesn't go on quite right. So just going to let that set. Um, it's worth mentioning here, I don't know if you can see in the centre of these, I've just put like a little gem. Now I've used my Nouveau crystal gems for that. Okay, and I'm going to use them also on this here. Bring it in a bit. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and mounted some on here. Okay, so I've got one big gem, which I'm just going to pop in the centre here. Okay, you've got to bling up your snowflakes, haven't you, after all. Now, where am I going to put these? I think I'll put these smaller ones just in these sections here. So that's looking beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with that is I'm going to aim for the centre and stick it down. I think I'm just going to use some double-sided tape for that. Just run, and I'll use a thinner one, I think. Stick that down. And then I've cut out another one here. Okay, I'm going to use some glue on the back of this one. And then marry this up on the back. Like that. Glue everywhere. Okay, so just take my numbers. So there you go, that's coming together lovely. I'm just going to finish off now with a couple of snowdrops or snowflakes on the side. So I've got a couple of pieces of foam backed, adhesive foam backed um, bits and bobs to go on the side here. So I'll pop that one roughly there. Turn it over and we'll do the same with this one. Roughly there. Like so. And there you have a really nice, smart, perpetual style advent calendar. And now it just remains for me to actually put some little treats inside. So let's just have a look. What I wanted to say was I just used a punch to punch a very, very small little bit of a circle there. It just makes it easier to open each of these boxes. I've also done it in this one. Okay, so I'm just going to take my treats. So we've got a bag of Haribo's, so a very generous treat. But okay, let's pop that one there. And open this one here again. Put that little circle just facilitates opening the box that much easier okay so pop that in there all ready for December the 25th um, and that's it really you could decorate these in many many different themes and um, kiddie themes for Christmas little Santas stockings candy canes all sorts of things really but um anyway I do hope you like it and I will be back with another project for you very shortly so thanks for watching and bye for now